All right, welcome to Focus Garage. This is on there. Uh, I'm here with Bob. How's it going, guys? Uh, he drives a Fiesta SC. I believe it's a Stage 3. Yeah, it's a Stage 3 kit. Um, you know, access port. Uh, I'm running a drop-in filter on the car, uh, downpipe, and I'm actually running the stock exhaust still. Yeah, so we're here autocrossing this Sunday. There's uh, 170 cars, I believe, and maybe one or two more extras. So here's we're sitting in pit right now, waiting for our turn. Here's my car. I'm right next to him. So I'll be recording for the Fiesta and the Focus and see how they're going to do in this course and uh, compare them both. And I'm sure his Fiesta is going to be a little bit faster than me <laughs> because uh, he's been he's been doing this for a year now. Uh, like, yeah, on and off. I've, I've probably autocrossed about five or six times now. So. Yeah, so, and Fiesta is a monster in autocross, so. Yeah, we'll, man, with that big turbo, it's going to be interesting out there today. Yeah, we'll see how it goes, and, uh, yeah, uh, I'll start recording once my start, uh, run starts, and then his run, and then we'll show you guys.
So uh, it's uh, around like 4.30, uh, I finished my uh, autocross event uh, with Bobby. Uh, it was pretty good, I, I raced the first heat, worked the second heat, and then raced the third heat, so I, don't, I didn't have to stay for the fourth heat, fortunately Bobby had to, but um, I was, uh, it was very fun, um, I learned a lot. This was the first time I did autocross with these tires. Before that I did it twice with all seasons and it was just, it was pretty rough. Uh, the car was under steering a lot. And um, yeah, it now it's, it's more like a snap over steer but you can control it. I just need to get used to it. Uh, and also I need to get used to pushing the car a little bit more than I used to. But, um, the times are not posted yet, but uh, as soon as they're posted, I'll put it in the description how the Fiesta SD, well, it's a full bolt-on Fiesta SD did, and then uh, the big turbo focus SD did. Hi everybody, we just come back from the autocross event, and it's a little chilly outside. We have our beers and enjoying ourselves. Yep. And I think it was an overall great event. And uh, me and him were in the same class, T class, for a street mod fight. And I, th we were, there was, there was a lot of faster cars yeah. than us. Yeah, there was definitely some fast cars out there, you know. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but I mean, one of the fastest cars out there was a stock Focus ST. Yeah. So the car is definitely capable. Uh, it's just a point, driver. It's a driver mod, man. Yeah. We're, we're pretty we're new working, to this. We're working. We're yeah. working on it right now. <laughs> we're trying. Um, we're, we promise each other that we're going to be there the entire season and try mm -hmm. to be better with our timings and see how it goes. And, you know, just uh, got to be competitive, man. Keep going back at it with each other. We'll keep pushing each other. Yeah. And overall, the cars did very well. I didn't have any problems overheating or like any other issues. Mm -hmm. But I think you had a little hiccup with the tires. Yeah, but... slight issue. I was running uh, BF Goodrich uh, Rival S's. I uh, have about 9,000 street miles on them. Maybe like 20 or 30 autocross, autocross passes. Uh, took it to the drag strip, probably took it to there once. It's probably like 10, 10 trips up and down the strip. So, uh, yeah, on my second run of the day, uh, one on the driver's side, the shoulder just melted and it started chunking off. So I had to run home, do a quick uh, pit stop, switched over to my Firehawks that I usually use for my daily driving in the summertime. Uh, obviously not as good as a tire, but... For what they are, man, I can't complain. Those tires are eighty-eight dollars a piece. Wow, that's for under four hundred dollars installed, decent that's so rubber. Cheap, yeah. uh, for my knowledge, they're actually just a rebranded Potenza from uh, Europe. Uh, it's like a RE wow. something. Uh, so they're a decent tire, not too bad. Yeah, I mean you're pretty competitive out there, and uh, you obviously did better than me. You did like just a tad. Yeah, it was fair. Fifty-five point eight two, and then I did fifty-five point eight six, but. Yeah. You know, we're competing with each other and yeah. then see how we do at the end of the season. We want to better ourselves, you know. Like we, There's a lot of other uh, competitors out there uh, in the T-Class, especially Street Modify. Yeah. They're running rear-wheel drive cars, so they're going to be much better than us. But, uh, you know, but at the end of the day, we're just having fun, you know, enjoying ourselves. And it's a cheap track day, kind of. Absolutely. Kinda, you know? I mean... You know what does it cost? Forty bucks for in our chapter, yeah, forty bucks. Oh, a forty race. bucks. Yeah. If you're a member, membership is like seventy dollars. So, 
it's 40 bucks a 40 bucks a race plus the 70 dollars yep. for the entire season so it's a pretty cheap uh like a track day if you think about it's it it's a great way to learn the car i mean yeah. the, la the last thing you want to do is get your car out on a road course go 10 tenths and stuff your brand new car into a wall yeah insurance isn't going to cover that you know it's just uh it's a very safe way to learn the limits of your car and Maybe after a season, maybe even after just a couple runs, you know, a couple uh, autocross days, you can take it onto the track, take it easy, maybe a lap or two, and who knows, man, you can yeah. be pretty competitive. It's nice to know what's going to happen when you just rip that wheel in and floor the exactly. gas. If, like if you've I, never done that before on the street, you, never you have know, no, yeah. no idea what to yeah. expect. So, Like I was saying, it's it's a great opportunity to learn about your car. Mm -hmm. You know, it's there was old ladies, like I was saying earlier. Oh, yeah. There were like two old ladies. One of them was driving an Acura TL. Another one was sharing a uh, Evo, Evo with her son. With her yeah. son, yeah. yeah was, that was crazy, man. Two stepping it right off the launch, man. <laughs> yeah. It was crazy. It was fun to watch, yeah. yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you have a chance, if you ever have a chance, and if you think about it, like just do it. Just go out there, enjoy your car, enjoy yourself, and then have fun. Absolutely, man. It's a yeah. uh, it's a great time. Like I said, it's pretty cheap. Uh, there's probably an SCCA in your area uh, that's the sports club sports car club of America yeah. uh, they do national held events so man if you're good you could even go to a national event win yourself a trophy that's about it but yeah hey I mean it's all about learning and having fun so. yeah absolutely yeah so we're gonna end the episode here uh, I hope you guys enjoy it make sure to comment like and subscribe and kudos to all have a good one guys